getting people on the road to financial independence. But now the male-dominated trucking industry is headed in a new direction. New here at 5 o'clock, 41 Action News anchor Cynthia Newsom tells us why more women are getting behind the wheel. There are a lot of twists and turns when it comes to learning how to drive a truck but once you get the hang of it you're pretty much on easy street because these jobs are high paying jobs and more women are climbing into the driver's seat. Akia Lee is almost ready to take the wheel and drive off into the sunset with a class A commercial driver's license and a new career. I've knocked all my tests out the park with no problems so as far as being a male dominant industry I just overlooked that and just, just, it's in my heart to do it, so I have no problem with doing it. It's a six-week course, two weeks of classwork, then four weeks on the driving range. She already has a job lined up when she finishes, and she knows some people will be surprised to see a woman truck driver. I've never met a female driver until I got here. Pull up, pull up at your angle. My instructor, one of our instructors is a female, and uh, she's taught me a lot. But women are in high demand. Yeah, it's about being more nurturing, taking care of the truck, taking care of the route. Mark Bird is president and CEO of New Reflections Technical Institute. It's transferring a community for people to be able to take care of their families and be able to raise and support their children, uh, being able to purchase homes, being able to purchase a car, uh, pay for child care, um, things that seem pretty remedial for other people. And this is a very serious thing because it's changing their lives. And that's the driving force compelling more more women to map out a new direction in their lives. Cynthia Newsom, 41 Action News.